Welcome everyone, this is Mundan Nagavan and this video we are going to understand our first test case in Playwright. In previous video we have installed the Playwright and VS Code and what are the things required for our test execution or test creation. We have done everything in the previous video. Let's see how the test case can be created here and what are the basic steps we need to understand when you create the Playwright test case. Go to the VS Code where we stopped actually in the last session. Obviously we have the package.json and playwright config.json and we have the test folder. When we install the playwright we mentioned all our test cases will be under the folder called test. We can have a sample or example spec already. Generally in javascript world we will tell spec. However we can consider the spec can be considered as a test case because we are going to write lot of test cases here. And it has the ts extension because we are writing in the typescript. Open the playwright config. We have lot of configuration here. However, we can see some of the things called projects. Under the projects, every test case will be executed under this all the browsers which is Chromium and Firefox and WebKit. For simplicity, we will comment remaining things. And one thumb rule I would tell, whenever you make some changes, always try to make the comment rather than deleting. Because sometime you may need it again one more time. So better always do the comments. Now we know that it is going to run only on the Chromium site, which is the Chrome browser. Let's go into the example.spec.ts. Here some of the things already available to you, example. And here you can see there is something called import and we are importing some libraries or let's say some objects in precise test and expect from the playwright slash test. If you go to the node modules, whichever the dependency you downloaded, everything will be here. And here you can see playwright test. So that means that whatever the libraries we are going to import, this will be coming from playwright slash test. Inside the lib, you may find it the test and expect. However, it's the internal details. We don't need much. So basically the first line tells we want to have the test and expect objects to create our test cases. Where test will be considered like a function where it will be having the first argument as a string which will be telling the description about our test case and second one will be expecting the asynchronous function. If you don't watch the previous videos on the JavaScript basics, then just watch it to understand what is the asynchronous programming. Basically JavaScript is the asynchronous programming. In very simple words, every statement will not wait for the previous statement to execute. That means that every statement will be asynchronously working. It will be independent of the each statement, previous statement precisely. And this will have the page. So page is the fixture. In JavaScript world or in TypeScript, we used to tell the fixtures, which will be like a object which is predefined or which is available already to you. In Playwright, we have the object called page, which will be available to you, which will have all the configuration based on your config then it will give the web page to you. Basically, this is like a open browser with a page. So with this page, you can do whatever you want that you want to do in the automation. For example, line number four tells using the page dot go to, that means that in the page, you want to go to the HTTPS playwright dot dev. Here some catches to be understood clearly. We will go one by one. The first one is avoid statement. Just now we discussed that JavaScript is the asynchronous in nature. That means that every statement will go asynchronously. However, in testing world, we will not do every actions asynchronously. That means that, for example, if you log into the web page, first you will log in, then you will go to the home page, then you will add the items to the cart, then you will make the payments. It is definitely not possible that you directly go to the cart and before you log in, and before you log in, you cannot go to the home page. So that means that our test cases always be a sequential manner. However, this test case is just starts as asynchronous. So that means that internally we need to implement the sequential process, which can be implemented by the await statement. Just to abide with the JavaScript nature, everything in the JavaScript will be called as a promise. However, going through the promise asynchronous await will be little, little time consuming. Since we have already some JavaScript basics, we can go through that. But generally you can consider this method will have two arguments. First one will be the string and second one will be the asynchronous function. 
and it will have the argument page object and you might ask why do we need to mention the let's say the flower brackets inside that we need to page if you mention only the page that means that it is a variable whereas if you mention inside the flower brackets that will be called as the object however it's a general syntax you will follow for every test class so sorry test method so let's keep it like that only then you will have the function implementation here just to make every statement as a synchronous process we will add the await in front of that now the question arises where do you add the await where do you don't in general if you use any playwright objects before that you need to use the await statement for example here you can see the page which will be provided by the playwright or if you are using the expect you will be using the await statement in simple page or let's say expect or whichever the thing coming from the playwright that will be asynchronous in nature make it synchronous we will use the await statement for example console.log is not from the typescript it is from the javascript so there you will not use the await statement so i think this is probably more theoretical let's go into the creating the first test case from the scratch and we will see what are the different ways that we can execute the test case and what are the different methods or commands we can use it through the terminal as well as we discussed the node modules will be the libraries just we will come out of that and playwright report will be having the default report however we will execute one more time and this example dot specs dot ts some people used to delete this but keep it ready since you habituated with all the test cases and syntaxes let it be the example specs no need to delete it might be you want to remove this just you can mention test dot skip so this is one of the shortcut to skip it if you don't want to execute some test cases still you want to have that file or the test case method just mention as a test dot skip that's all now when you run the full test cases it will not run it because you mentioned test dot skip now under the test folder go to the new file let's say demo dot spec dot ts as we discussed first we will just mention the import in order to write the test cases obviously we need to have the test object and any test case will not be considered as a test case if you don't have the some assert or some expect condition so obviously every test case should have the assert or expect condition so these two objects we want to import from obviously you know that that is something called at play rate test it's smart enough that it will give the suggestions so so far it's very good now let's see create the first test case and open test now here you can go through the entire description when you mouse over the test the title is string since we are using the typescript it will give the clear indication what value you need to enter what is the parameter name and its type for example the first one is the title is the parameter name and string is the type you cannot enter something like a number because it is typescript it is type safety so that means that we have the title which is type of string let's see first test case our first test put comma next one will be the test function and the arguments will be the different arguments but uh, as far as we know that we can start with a simple page and this is kind of arrow function and this is the implementation in simple i will make it as a second line and this is the end of the first method outside make it colon and now we have the one function and we know that this is the function of asynchronous because we want to have the promise and we know that we need to have some objects especially page object to interact with the page now let's go into the test case now with this page what we want to do obviously you know that this page is from the playwright so obviously you need to type await then page then type go to here the trick is you always should use the protocol followed by the url it's not something like www.google.com because it will not work properly definitely it will not work however just to see the example take this the same thing copy this url let's go to the same url here you can see https is the protocol then the url don't try to type like www.google.com or www.playrate.dev it needs the same syntax 
and we mention await statement because we need to go to the next statement only if this statement is perfect or completed. Next one await. So however we already used the test, next one will be the expect. It's not necessary to be in the same order, but obviously every test case will have the expect to validate something. For example, page and get the URL. Here you can see when you type the URL, it shows something called a cube and here you can see it is the type method. So that means that it's not the variable, it's a method. Just make it and here you are expecting the page URL to contain. This is one of the example. Let's say this URL contains writing, right? So let's give a small try. Writing. That's all. So that means that we are writing the test cases and we want to go to the page and we want expect the page URL should contain the writing. Obviously it's very simple and looks very let's say simple way because we already know that in the URL it's writing is there. But it looks simple but in real time it might be the security test cases also. Why? Because when you navigate to some URL if somebody redirects to the different vulnerable URL it still make to make sure that is in the same URL. Otherwise, if you are redirected to the some vulnerable URL that may not have the some keywords in that. So in simple words, we are just checking the URL contains the writing in it after going to that URL. That means that there is no change. Okay, that's pretty good. And let's complete. Control A, try to format. Let's cancel. I will make it simple. Prettier. That's all. Now it's showing something, no impact, okay, expect to contain. Let's save it. Yes, as soon as you save it, you can see the run simple. Very simplest way to run the test cases because whenever you see the test, it will have the run symbol. Just run it. And you can see there some waiting symbol. And it's completed. You can see the tick mark. So the easiest way is to run from the same page or you can go to this testing sub tab on your left hand side. Again you can run it or you can debug. So that's the one another way. And the terminal. So go to the terminal. Let's say you want to execute multiple times or you want to have some more terminal way of executing. Because when you go to the pipeline you may need the terminal commands rather than executing from the UI. So better I would suggest to learn both the ways. Because when you run something very faster way, you can just open the VS code, click that and run it. But if you want to give the, let's say, terminal commands to the pipeline, better to use the terminal command. So the terminal command will be like npx and type playwright and test. So just we, before that, we will just see how it runs. So writing test cases, running test cases. And here you can see the running test cases, npx playwright test. That's all. If you want to run something specific TS or TypeScript, that is the way. There are a lot of other different ways, but we will go simple as it is because in example spec we mentioned everything skip, right? So that's the reason. Just go here and click enter. Yes, to skip. Why? Because in example we mentioned both to skip, right? So that's the reason two has been skipped and one has been passed. If you want to open here directly, you can use the same command. The UI is, or let's say the CL is very interactive, it will give some suggestions as well. Just show report. So there is some error, let's say address already in use. So that means that already I open might be. Or otherwise you can open from here. We will test output. This is another way to see the terminal outputs. Right, so you can see the terminal output, how many passed, how many failed. But let's see why it is not allowing me. Let me try one more time. Go to the PowerShell. Control C. Yes. Now NPX play rate, show report, enter. Yes, it is. So sometimes I already opened, so that might be the reason you need to close that server or port number. Since it's running in my local host, the same port should be available. Now here you can see the test cases. The first one is the real one. 
which means that we ran it and you can see the before hooks we don't have anything but by default it will be creating the browser context new pages and the test cases actual test cases it goes to the page and ex expect that url to be the writing and expect to contain something writing that's obvious with an after hooks so far we have not seen after hooks before hooks but it's a little bit tricky we will see in the coming sessions but in this session we just know that how to write a simple test case right if you feel like it is a little confusing again in the syntax what you can do is like just copy the simple syntax which will be repeating every time make it this is like something like a sample and this everything will be template delete that's it here your code goes so this can be always your template whenever you want to create the test case just copy the template edit the description start writing your test cases and some of the main points that we discussed is like we have seen the test skip right the same way there is like something called test only you may have some let's say 100 test cases but you are writing a current test case you want to execute only the current test case so that time you can use the test only in case if you are executing from the terminal otherwise you can directly click on the play symbol just in front of the test case so we have seen the test only and test skip and in the import statement we have seen clearly that is uh, test and expect objects from the play rate test and we have seen the different commands to run from the terminal obviously we have executed only one way but you can execute in the different ways we have seen the documentation and we have seen how to open the reports and we have seen that that url should be with protocol not without protocol and await statement so why do we need the await statement just a simple theoretical answer would be like just to make the statements executing one by one so that's the reason we use the await and asynchronous nature to avoid the asynchronous nature so this is all about the first video about the creating the videos or creating the first test case and how to execute in the different ways so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day